Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how I built a complete full stack web app starting from a simple Figma design all the way to a working e-commerce application using React, Spring Boot and a database all inside Cursor IDE. Let's dive in and see how design turns into code with the power of AI. By the end of this video, you will know how to convert your Figma design into a functional UI, build REST API using Spring Boot and connect everything to a real database without leaving cursor ID. No switching tab, no setup headaches, just fast and focused development. Before we dive deeper, let me introduce to the star of this build, that is Cursor ID. Cursor is a developer-focused code editor that comes with built-in AI assistance. It's similar to the VS Code. It helps you write code faster, explain what your code is doing, refactor large chunk, and even debug right inside the editor. No jumping between tools. Perfect for solo builder, fast paid teams, or anyone working in your full-stack project. Next, how to install Cursor ID? It's very simple, just go to their website and download it in your Mac and you can install it in within a few seconds. It even syncs your settings, extensions and themes if you are migrating from VS Code. Now let's talk about some cool feature of Cursor IDE. It has a built-in agent and even we can edit with AI. We can ask anything in the prompts, AI test case generator, also we can refactor our code using the AI features. So these are the tech stacks I have used. On the front end, I used to react with the Tailwind CSS for fast tailing. In back end, I used Spring Boot for the clean REST API. For the database, I went with the H2, that is an in-memory database I used. And the best part, everything you was built inside the cursor ID with the AI helping at every step. Before that, I have created and prompt you with the help of ChatGPT. Let's see how the demo works. First, I have created two Figma pages. Page 1 design shows home page with all product display and page 2 is a checkout page. From page 1 we can add a product to the cart and in checkout page we can place an order and once the order has been placed we can view that in the history. I have taken the screenshot of these two pages and saved in my desktop. Because we are going to give these two pages as a reference to the cursor IDE to create the design. And also with the help of chat GPT, I have created a prompt. This prompt clearly describes the front end, back end and the uh, database. And what are the features we are going to achieve with this design. Just copy this entire uh, prompt and uh, go to the cursor IDE. This is the cursor IDE. Here, uh, we need to open a new chat window. The chat window is similar to the chat GPT. Uh, the advantage of this uh, cursor ID is by default this ID is enabled with an agent. Just paste that one and also attach uh, these two pages whatever we have taken. Uh, just copy that to the chat window. So once it has been copied and also I am writing an extra prompt like uh, just take the reference as this page 1 and page 2 and create the design as per the page source. Once it is done, just click on the send button. Now our cursor IDE agent chatbot is going to create the project structure first of all. Simply we need to accept the command. Uh, first of all, it's going to create the two folders front end and back end. Run the command. So in the left side of the cursor IDE, you can see that the folders are created successfully. So front end and back end folders are created successfully. So next is trying to create the Spring Boot application, uh, run the command, but uh, it is seeing there was some error on creating that and found some issue. So it is creating the front end project first of all. So next it is going to install the front end libraries uh, and the dependencies, whatever it required to run that one. So by each step, uh, we need to run the command and sit and see uh, also we need to review it parallelly whether it is creating uh, everything is correctly or not now here is the magic happens while cursor id is busy generating both the front end and the back end for us you can just sit back relax and maybe grab your cup of coffee let the a do the heavy lifting and we will jump back in the once the project is ready to roll Looks like the code has been successfully generated. But as with any good developer story, we have hit few errors while running the app. The best part, Cursor IDE is not panicking, it's already trying to fix them by itself, like a true AI sidekick. 
I mean who needs Stack Overflow when your editor is so smart. Okay, wow, the application ran successfully. Let's open that in our browser. So this is the backend uh, port. I'm just opening that one. And I just I'm seeing what are the API has been created on behalf of us. And let me copy that one, any one of the API. Let me copy the product and see what are the product yeah, is created by default. Copy that and paste it in our browser. So it has created some dummy product for us. Next, let's run the front end. I'm not going to open any terminal to run the front end. I'm simply say run the front end in the chatbot. It will run for us. So once it run, simply we need to copy that particular port and paste it in the browser. Okay, so the front end design it gave us is not quite what we had in mind. It looks little off compared to our Figma design. We ordered a fancy latte but getting a black coffee instead. No worries though. I am going to ask Cursor again to regenerate the UI this time, making sure it actually follow our Figma layout. Let's wait for few more minutes to get the real output whatever it's in our design. Alright, seems the code has been fixed and updated. Now let me show you how to run everything using the terminal. I am starting both the backend and frontend right here in Cursor. So first I am starting the backend and then followed by the frontend. Just give NVM start to run the frontend code. Wow, it's looking much better now, right? We have got a design in sync with our original Figma mockup. Let's compare this design with our Figma mockup. On bottom, we have these five buttons. Almost we have foam, refresh, cart, everything is there. On top, we have history, cart, search. Here also we have almost same. And then uh, let's try is it working or not. I'm adding it to cart. And then in going to cart, also going to check out. Just click on place an order. The order has been successfully placed. Going to history. Wow, the order is here. Let's see in backend. Wow, it's working fine. Now let me try with some other product. I'm adding two product going to cart. Let me check out this one also. Let me view it in history. Wow. We almost we got both the uh, orders, whatever we placed. It's almost a working code. We can enhance for the, our entire code from here. Finally, we got a fully working project up and running. From here, you can easily start adding business logic, new feature or custom flow. Just describe what you need and let the AI handle the rest. This demo shows how far developer tool have come from idea to running app in record time with AI as your copilot. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more real world builds like this and drop a comment if you want me to cover deployment or advanced logic next. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.